Dear Diary, today is a good day. I want to remember always to dwell in the shelter of the Most High and abide in the shadow of the Almighty. He's my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. What's going on YouTube fam? We are back at it again. We just want to say thank you so much for all your prayers to get better. We are coming out of it. We still have a little bit going on. Uh, if you can hear it in my voice, I still got a little congestion and stuff. And I am got this because I'm going to cover my mouth so I don't breathe too much of the cold and Jessica's joining us. But we want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with us. So one thing I was able to do when the when we got hit with the virus before we thought it was really bad was I was able to get, as you can see, um, I moved all the compost out of the pasture, which took about six hours of tractor work with the backhoe. And it was a mess because the tractor kept getting stuck. So I was actually doing that when Co Cody was the first one that got it. And we didn't realize it was going to be like such a bad virus. So I would come out here like um, during rest times or when, when I had times off. I had to come out here and spend a couple hours moving the compost and stuff. And then, of course, we've been working on wood and stuff, too, at the same time. Day 21, we are so relieved, utterly exhausted, but so relieved that Get we're it. at this point. Utterly. <laughs> you know what? So our last video left off. I know, baby. Our last video left off at day 15, day 16 through 19. Um, we were up at night, fever spikes 104.4, um, throwing up, pain in the stomach, kids wouldn't eat, a lot going on. <laughs> Goodness. And then you guys were praying and praying and praying in your churches and ministries and Bible studies. And we just want to thank you guys so much for doing that. Yeah. Um, there was a complete turnaround. <laughs> um, day 20 was a good day. Right? Yes, it was. Oh, I've missed you out here. Aww. I've missed you out here. Normal vlog style videos will be back 
uh, in our next video. Yes. But we wanted to give you guys an update. There's been obviously stuff going on, uh, which is why we did the virus video last time. Yeah. Um, so we just kind of wanted to explain a little bit more and tell you what we had to end up doing and how it how it ended. Uh, so we're super thankful that we're at this point. Yes. Um, 23 days. Yeah, so that's going to say uh, it lasted a long time. Day 20 was the turnaround point. Day 21 was even better. So we are just very excited yes. to be here. You can see Graham. Graham, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's two, and he ended up getting it. Probably the worst. The worst. Yeah, probably the worst. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And so... I know some of you guys were upset that we used antibiotics, so we kind of wanted to go over our steps to knowing that's something we needed. Mm -hmm. So we took them to urgent care. So I have an otoscope, an otoscope for the ears, and I have a stethoscope for the lungs. And so we were in a you know, thermometer, of course, and an oximeter. Yeah. And so we have all the things to make sure we're doing what we need to do, looking at those vitals, making sure that we take action. So we hovered over them for um, the first two weeks. It was about 14 days. Mm -hmm. And then we realized, um, so we realized we needed to do something when we heard crackling in his lungs. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any pneumonia setting in. Right. The ear infections didn't scare us uh, because we'll get into that. But um, I wanted to take them to see what was going on. So after we did that, we realized how much how much inflammation and how much was going on in the lungs and that they needed an antibiotic for the infection that was sitting in there. Right. Yeah, in the lungs. That's so, really, that's the whole point of the antibiotic was the lung address, but it was also a touching. The so, ear, all I mean, but well. a plus to it would be touching all the stuff, the eyes, the ears, the throat, the stuff that was going on up top yeah. um, when normally we wouldn't do it for things like that. Right. So if you don't want to do that for your family, that's fine. But we definitely wanted to make sure that we were taking care of that. Uh, when you when you see them struggling breathing, it becomes very scary. And so that's why we did that. And we've said all along that we believe in regular medicine when it is necessary. Yes. So this is a perfect example of when it would be necessary. Right. Something that needs to get in there and work a little bit quicker. Yes. Yeah. But um, something that the antibiotics did not hit was the ear infections. No. So the first antibiotic was seven days, and the ear infections did not improve at all. <coughs> no. So I was looking at it every day through the scope, and um, then it happened to be I took him to the urgent care for the lungs at that point, and they looked in the ears, and they said, whoa, they're really bad. And I said, yes. So that's when I took the ears into my own hands, into his own hands, and we said, Lord, help us. And so um, the one of the first things we used was ear care, home, uh, homeopathic for kids. Now, I'm not telling you what to use. I'm just telling you what we what used. What we did, yes. So this is actually, um, it, you can use it starting at zero months old all the way to... You take it by mouth. Yeah, you take it by mouth, just a couple drops. And this helped with getting pain down, inflammation down, and right. uh, the, you know, like when you yawn or something, you got the pops, just the fluid. And then we went to uh, this, the mullein and garlic oil, as well as there's mixed reviews on it about hydrogen peroxide in the ears. But as soon as we started using this, we saw a significant difference yeah. within a day. So we were very encouraged. The ear infections are almost completely gone, and we were almost through our second, second antibiotic, yes. and the ears were still very red. And I had, didn't want to do anything before because I didn't want to interfere with the medicine. Yeah. And I forget it. So then I started just treating it myself. And that's when it started clearing up. So between these two things. Yeah, and the hydrogen peroxide, it worked really well. <clears throat> One of the other things that was really irritating everybody was the, the nasal drip. And so it was causing even more coughing. Mm -hmm. And the way this virus went was nothing could calm the coughing. It was yeah, and we we tried, and just so you know, we've tried we tried actual like cough medicine, like Delsum, and then um, uh, 
which works usually wonders, especially for since we struck we have Delsum because of the group that Maddie always gets. But so Delsum usually works really well, and then we had like a natural um, cough honey mixture or whatever that we got too from the natural store, and that seemed to work better than the Delsum, but it still just would not hit the cough no matter what. So mm -hmm. yeah, so then we said um, you know we have to figure something else out. The urgent care actually told us to do Zyrtec to kind of dry things up. So at first I tried that even though that's not something that I would normally go to for the kids and it really didn't work. Yeah. Because of the just the severity of this virus. <coughs> so anyways, I remembered, oh my goodness, I have these and this helps one of our kids has allergies and um like when the season changes and so this has marshmallow, stinging nettle, a lot of the things that we are planning on growing, growing anyways, anyways. Yeah. and they're little chewable tablets and he himself declared how amazing this was and uh, he reminded me to give this to him every day. So this actually worked on all the kids and then even Jessica and I started taking it and it actually helped us a lot too as well. So. Um, this worked really well for kind of helping dry up some of the nasal sinus yeah. issues that were going on there. You can talk about this versus the VIX if you want. Yeah, so we were the, um, I'm sure, I don't know if many of you use VIX or not, the vapor rub that you put on like the chest to help with the, the a cough suppressant and everything. And uh, I grew up using VIX. It's always worked amazing. And um, <clears throat> so we've used it and stuff like that. But I'm telling you what, Vicks didn't really touch this cough. No. It didn't even do squat to it. Um, and I mean, we were like, we would lather it on and we'd put it on the feet. We do everything, you know, everything that they tell you to do uh -huh. with it, it. And it just didn't do anything really. Um, so we ended up having this. We got this not because of this virus. We just got this in preparation of just in case. And it's a deep tissue salve um, that we got from the Amish. And it's basically for That's congestion it. and um, coughs and sore throats and stuff. I'm going to tell you what. This thing right here uh, puts Vicks to shame. Doesn't it? Chew. Good. Uh, sorry, I want to make sure he was chewing. Uh, this puts Vicks yes, to shame. Yes, it does. It, it worked wonders. And we even use it for ourselves. And, and, we, it, and we once we start our medicinal garden, we get that going, we could easily make this. Um, but so. it just it just worked and this was a brand new jar and you can yeah. see we almost used ha uh, more than half of it and I mean it just uh, it just worked so it worked really well. well and we would we would start right here and just massage it in yeah. and work all the way down to the so chest the difference and it just is, really it's well. a deep tissue salve so the difference is it's actually helping uh, it's getting in there with the oils and stuff and the uh, the herbs and it's actually helping you improve not just masking something yeah so then what we're being faced with now <coughs> is everybody some people more than others have lost weight and the coloring is off of the children and just the overall um, tummies and um, appetite Everything is just off. It's improving because of some things that we're doing, but we're just, you know, looking to improve that more. So one of the best medicines, of course, is sleep. Another one is food. So we're doing those two things. But in addition to uh, my, my mom actually, um, she watches Dr. Berg uh, on YouTube and check him out he likes doing things the natural way he likes to avoid medicine as much as possible and so he just came out with a kids multivitamin and all of it if you read it it's all food so it's spinach and mushrooms and broccoli and carrots and tomatoes i'll put in a chewable tablet and so we're using this to help rebuild them along with we make um, like shakes and stuff. And so Nathaniel and I will put elderberry in our shakes. Yeah. So those are the couple couple of things we're doing in top, on top of food, pumping them with a the food. You know, they're like, can I have a snack? Of course you can. <laughs> and, and we can... Um... 
bikini water. Okay, well, you just got to just wait for a Look second, okay? Water. Um, we'll put um a link to all these things that we can that we bought off of Amazon yeah. or some mm -hmm. store. This is the only one that we didn't, but we can at least uh list the ingredients for you. But this stuff worked really, really well mm -hmm. in comparison to uh, a lot of the other things that we were using. So we never, ever, ever expected this to hit our homestead. No, no. Like, we never expected it to hit our homestead. A few of the things that we did have to use that were not natural that we had to was one, the antibiotic because of the lungs, but also... Um, we had to use, uh, which I never thought my kids would ever have to do this. I know that sounds like ridiculous of me, but they had to use a uh, steroid for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to help with the inflammation. They the had to breathe. Um, yeah, we ran, and of course the nebulizer, which we don't have down here with us. I mean, we were running the nebulizer, nebulizer like nonstop with the saline um, water. Uh, saline, yeah, the... Um, saline squirts and then Iberol. <laughs> And so we would just be like, I mean, they so were we one after use, another. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so we boom, had to so. use that, especially in the middle of the night, because one after another would wake up. Yeah. Then we had to use an inhaler, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it was very wild. So those a few things were from the regular doctor and that we're, we're thankful yes. that we had 100%. access to that. Yes. Um, <coughs> yeah, it, it was a very weird virus. Yes. It lasted for a really long time. Yes. And then fear started to sit in, not only with me, I don't know about him, he could speak for himself, but it started to sit in with me of like, oh my gosh, do the kids see me? Oh my goodness, is everything okay? I gotta go check their temperatures because we were having fever spikes of over 104 that, you know, he and they're throwing up and he can't get medicine in them and, you know, trying to do suppositories. Yeah. We didn't sleep. We didn't sleep for uh, uh, four to five days straight. Oh, something else, I, a regular medicine I wouldn't want to give up, it would be Tylenol and, and Motrin. Motrin. yeah. So it's just, yeah, we didn't, these we, high fever, you're talking like when we got to 102, we were rejoicing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's how high we were hitting. Like so, I said, we didn't, for four or five days straight, when all of them were sick, we didn't sleep for, for four or five days. Like not sit on the couch, like, like nothing, we were, we were just on steady. our feet. Yeah, we were just steady running on adrenaline. And, and then uh, after that, we started sleeping maybe and then an we, hour here. Yeah, she looked at, uh, I think this is the first time that I've ever said this to my mom, and, and she called, and she said, how's it going? I said, mom, we're crumbling. I said, we're crumbling fast. Yeah. And uh, I was actually about to break. Mm. I was going to actually like just cry, because I was like, we were just, we were struggling. And uh, and then she came to me and she was just like, hey, we're going to have to, um, we're gonna have to take turns. Like you're gonna have to sleep an hour, and so that's what we that's what we did. We created this schedule, and so basically, at first we couldn't because there was five kids. There's just two too of us, much, so yeah. But then that. as as the orders got a little bit better and manageable, we were able to rotate this sleeping routine. And I would sleep for a couple hours. I'd come out. We basically like slap hands. She would go into the bedroom. She would sleep for a couple hours while I watched. Mm -hmm. She would come back out, and we would just we kind of keep yeah. that going. And even though it's broken up sleep, it helped us to kind of like get ourselves back up. But that's that's why uh, during those times, that's why Jessica and I got worse than what we probably would have. Right. We probably wouldn't have gotten that bad at all if we would have gotten uh, manageable sleep. But we yeah. just we just literally couldn't, um, no matter how hard we wanted to. Yeah, it was. It's definitely a virus that attacks kids. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Versus, but adults. we are thankful. We thank God every day that yes. we made it through this. Because it could have been very different. Yes. And we could have, you know, ended up in the hospital. But we are so thankful. So we just wanted to kind of update you guys and just let you know that, like, kind of definitely threw off our january month i mean we lost our whole month of january we, we just been focused and <laughs> and keeping everybody well and so but we thank you all so much again for your prayers i mean we can't stress it enough it's so it means so much to us but now that we are well mm -hmm. and we're not maybe at a hundred percent we're probably in the 90 percent range of wellness uh, we are going to start attacking the projects especially <laughs> that it's not really that it's cold but it's not like super cold right now 
Um, so we're still going to be mindful about us being outside too much um, right now until we get uh, really like almost 100%. But we're going to start hitting the medicinal garden and that secret project that we haven't even mentioned Ooh. yet. And, and of course we got other just normal maintained projects that we're going to be doing and stuff. So please stick around. Like we said, this isn't our normal stuff. This is just for this virus um, season that we were in. And so we just thank you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Yes. God bless.